Hello and welcome to the NEO series of Drishti IS. My name is Pooja Devedi. Today we are going to discuss Cyclone Mandis. This cyclone has developed over the South Andaman Sea and as it has progressed towards Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, it has become a cause of concern for the administration there. Now, this topic is going to be important from the perspective of GS Mains Paper 1 and also specifically the factual information is important from the, perspe uh, from the perspective of preliminary examination. So let's begin without any further ado about Cyclone Mandis. These are the many topics that we are going to discuss step by step. Specifically that what is important from the perspective of Mains is the mechanism and of course what are tropical cyclones. You can also know about Cyclone Mandis, why is it moving slow and cyclones and nomenclature from the perspective of both prelims and Mains. So let us move ahead but before we actually talk about the news of course the live updates it is changing and I will tell you from the beginning the origin of it and everything but you can see this particular new initiative that we have come up with. This is the IS prelims course for 2023 it is available in the live online mode by Drishti learning app and it will be available from 9th of January 2023 in which you will get many things such as 300 plus hours of classes free access to 25 mock test papers, free current affairs crash course as well as Drishti current affairs today monthly magazine. Okay, if you want to know more about it, you can call in the given number. You can also visit our website. Now let's move forward and talk about Cyclone Mandis. Cyclone Mandis is actually a slow moving cyclone. The word Mandis has been given by the United Arab Emirates and the United Arab Emirates has named Mandis and of course the name's meaning can be asked in your prelims examination so it is meaning treasure box it means mandish means treasure box so it often absorbs whenever a slow cyclone is moving it often absorbs a lot of moisture all right and as it is slow moving it gets a lot of time as well so because of that it carries a humongous amount of rainfall and it also gains strength in the form of wind speed so who what are the factors which are responsible for moving it forward are the of course wind speeds moving ahead now let's talk about the origin since december 5 we could see that a low pressure was forming in the south andaman sea somewhere over here you can see over here in the south andaman sea region there was low pressure all right and by December 6, it intensified into a well-known, uh, into a well-marked low pressure area on the morning. Then, the storm system may move in the west and northwest direction. It was predicted by the IMD that it might move like this. So, it did so. Then comes December 8, it strengthened further into a cyclone over which area? Over the southwest bay of Bengal. Okay. And it moved towards the Tamil Nadu and Puducherry coast with wind speeds of 40 to 50 km per hour gusting to 60 km per hour in the morning. By the evening it went, it could go uh, today to 50 to 60 km per hour with gusts of up, up to 70 km per hour. Okay, so you see it will carry a huge amount of rainfall because it has a lot amount of moisture. December 9 to the morning of December 10, the maximum wind speeds along the coast may increase to around 70 to 80 km per hour with gusts of up to 90 km per hour. But it is moving pretty slowly. Why is it moving so slow? See, it, move, it is moving slowly because there is a high pressure area over Thailand. And because of the high pressure area, the winds which are helping the Mandis, cyclone Mandis to move forward will get weakened, okay? So high pressure system over Thailand and the South Arman Sea, they have created a change in the steering environment of the cyclonic system. Steering environment is basically that environment which uh, intensifies or de-intensifies the cyclone in question. The data from GFS and ECMFW also currently show that it would de-intensify before, even before it makes a landfall and IMD is also saying the same. And the reason why it is going to get de-intensified because the sea surface temperature over this region, over the Tamil Nadu coast and Puducherry region is cooler as compared to the other regions. That is why it will not get the warm supply of water vapor. Then cyclones, let's talk about them. Cyclones are basically rapid inward air circulation around a low pressure area. So there is a low pressure 
and here only the winds will move inwards okay remember this this is a very basic preliminary fact and the air circulates in an anti clockwise direction like this in the northern hemisphere although in the southern hemisphere it moves in the clockwise direction remember that and it is generally the tropical cyclones or the temperate cyclones both both they are generally accompanied by violent storms and thunder claps and bad weather the word cyclones comes from the word cyclone comes from the greek word cyclos the greek word cyclos was propounded by henry peddington who said that it looked like a coiled serpent in the tropical regions moving ahead two types of cyclones are there first is the tropical cyclone second is the temperate cyclone or extra tropical cyclones it is also known as mid latitude cyclone frontal cyclone or wave cyclone so we are talking about tropical cyclones over here tropical cyclones they occur 5 degree to 30 degree latitude north and south of the equator the conditions which are favorable for their development is high sea temperature of at least 27 degree celsius and converging winds near the ocean surface which forces the air to rise and form storm clouds okay so when there are converging winds the storm clouds will be formed by forcing the air to move upwards winds that do not vary greatly with height known as low wind shear that means the wind should be homogeneous in nature or they should not be uh, varying greatly a little bit of variation is okay this allows the storm clouds to rise vertically to high level okay when the wind is homogeneous in nature then sufficient distance from the equator for a spin such as the coriolis force to take into effect has also to be considered it should be sufficiently away from the equator so that coriolis force can play its part moving ahead now let's talk about the mechanism why do cyclones occur they occur to transfer heat and energy between the equator and the pole so this is their purpose and when low pressure occurs either side of the equator low pressure occurs either side of the equator that is true together with the air heated over the warm tropical ocean gives rise to tropical cyclones they are also accompanied by thundery showers when they do so so thundery showers they group together creating a rapidly rising warm air which leads to the development of pressure center okay of a low pressure center generally called the i okay let's talk about the three stages into which the formation is uh, or you can say the mechanism is divided first is the formation or the initial development stage this totally depends upon the transfer of water vapor and heat from the warm ocean to the overlying air so suppose this is the warm ocean okay and there is an overlying air let me draw it somewhere else this is the warm ocean and there is the overlying air so by the help of convection if water vapor this ocean is very warm and it is providing water vapor to this particular overlying parcel of air then it becomes easier for the low pressure to be created okay then with the help of that only massive vertical cumulus clouds due to convection with condensation of rising above of the uh, uh, rising above of the air above the ocean surface takes place and this helps in cumulus clouds vertical cumulus clouds to get formed then comes the mature stage in the mature stage the air rises in vigorous thunderstorms it gets accelerated and then it spreads where it spreads to tropopause when it happens when tropopause at tropopause this particular uh, you can say thunder clouds they spread all over then a positive pressure at high level is produced and the warm air starts getting subsiding so the warm air starts going down then with the inducement of subsidence air warms up by compression when too much subsidence takes place and pressure and uh, sorry compression takes place the warm air heats even more and then a warm eye or low pressure center is created this is the eye this is the low pressure center because it has too much heat all right and the main physical feature of a uh, of the tropical cyclone is the concentric pattern of highly turbulent giant cumulus thunder cloud band so remember the word cumulus over here all right so this is the feature of the tropical cyclone then comes modification or decay once the source of warm air gets cut off or it starts reducing then the power of the cyclones also starts reducing so as soon as the source is cut off like it, it is happening in the case of mandes 
the cyclone begins to weaken in terms of its central low pressure. Now there is no source to heat it up and accelerate it. Internal warmth and extreme, extremely high speed winds also come down. And this happens when either landfall has occurred or when it passes over cold water. Cold water is not able to provide a lot of heat to the cyclone. So that is what is happening. That is what is expected to happen in uh, cyclone mandus because it is passing through cold water. That is why it is expected that even before it becomes, uh, it makes a landfall, it will decay. Now it is, many people are saying, many analysts are saying that it might cross over to the Arabian Sea and then also intensifies as a cyclone, which is too, too, uh, too soon to speak right now. So let's talk about the nomenclature, who names the tropical cyclones. See, there are regional specialized meteorological centers and tropical cyclone warning centers. And there are six RSMCs in the world, including IMDs. IMD Indian Meteorological Department and five TCWCs. Okay, now as in uh, as Indian Meteorological Department is also one of them is one of the six RSMCs. To pr it can also provide tropical cyclones and storm surge advisories. It has done so to 13 member countries and 13 member countries generally uh, give names to the cyclones occurring in the Indian Ocean region: Bangladesh, India, Iran, Maldives, Myanmar, Oman, Pakistan. Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka, Thailand, UAE and Yemen are all the countries that can do so. Why does nomenclature happen? What is the meaning? First, it is important to identify each individual cyclone separately. Also to create awareness of its development so that commonality can take place. Remove confusion in case of, in case simultaneously many tropical cyclones are occurring. Also to remember them easily and rapidly and effectively disseminate warnings because it is easier for, uh, for the people to be warned when there is a common nomenclature. Moving ahead, now let's talk about a question that you have to answer. This is the question, in the South Atlantic and Southeastern Pacific region, in tropical latitude, cyclones does not originate. What is the reason? So you have to answer it correctly in the comment segment. The last time I asked you a question with respect to uh, the last segment, let me take the names of those who have answered my question correctly. Eco Polity has answered it correctly. Correct answer was A. One only Kiran Kumar, Nisha, uh, S. Rai, Anuj, Somnath, Tushita, Anamika, Siba, Faizan, Ruksana, Puneet, Akshiti, Aditya Birla, Vanish, Shri Ramula, Ranjit, Nishant, Amisha, Ravi Shankar, Jyotsna, Somya, Girish, Krishna, Rajkumar, Suraj, Kit, Sam, Shriji, Vishal, Shubham, Koyal, Friend Tech, Unstoppable, Mayuri, Devika, Dreams, Dream Style, Mahima, Chandan, Priyanka, Naveenism, Janmajay, Arush, Venu, Chandrakant, Richa, Anjusha, also Anirudh, then Bhargavi, Animesh, Praful, Ashutosh, Baisakhi, UPSC lover, uh, Shivangi, Srinivas, YM Mao, Do It Now, Saroj Kumar, Kamal, Mala, Abhishek, Rupal, Pallavi, Rehan. You have answered my question correctly. Thank you so much. Answer this question as well. We will see you again in the next segment. Thank you so much for watching.